Hi, my name is Zishan and uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can make a login page or actually what happened if you're following my uh, other series we have made a phone book or um, diary or anything so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit more changes um, we wanna we want that diary to use by multiple users like for example if I have a friends and family they also wanna use the uh, diary or a phone book they also wanna create their own contacts and uh, as far as everybody knows those contacts like whoever save it it should be a kept secret or as a personal so when they uh, create their own uh, login and when they uh, go to the home page they can see only their own contacts and nobody else can see that so let's get started let's see how we can do this how we can make a login page and uh, we can ask them to like uh, create their own uh, login ID and uh, save their own contacts so let's get started with the first thing first uh, with the database again like I'm using a uh, access uh, 2007 over here but one thing I just want to tell you uh, uh, in my previous video I have that connection string that just only work with the 2003 to 2000 uh, I'm sorry 2000 to 2003 database uh, access database so if you're using 2007 uh, database, uh, I mean uh, Microsoft Access, so please when you go to uh, save as and save as on 2002 to 2003 database. Otherwise it will give you an error, could not find the path or stuff like this. Anyway, over here I have a simple like three tables, table access level, table user, and table phone book. In a ta uh, in the table access level, I have uh, if you see this like a uh, access level as a primary key which is the auto number and an access level name. In this one, I put like access level one like again as a primary key so it's an auto number uh, one and the admin I mean the level name. Uh, that's for administrator if you want to delete anything or if you want to modify this later. And uh, access level two is only for visitors. So whoever, I mean, try to make a, like a sign up with your ebook account or e diary, I mean, whatever. So like uh, they should be a visitors. Then uh, I have a table user here. And table user, I have a user ID, which is also an auto number. And again, we're gonna provide them an access level ID. So whoever make a new account so they choose their access level to the visitor and uh, this one if you see an access level uh, over here and the level ID uh, sorry uh, table user if you see an access level ID number and I put the default value over here as 2 so whoever like a uh, make new account so there should be an access level number 2 which is a visitor okay and then we have a, like a nickname everybody have like a nickname uh, you know whatever they can put nickname their username and the password okay if you see this sometime like when you make changes it will take a little bit time and yes I wanna save this so if you see this like user ID 1 which is the auto number and uh, my access level is 1 because I'm an admin and my nickname is Z the man and my username is admin my password is Z okay then I have I have a two visitor and uh, user ID 2 and access level again 2 which is a uh, visitor over here his name is Johnny triple five whatever the username and password then again I have a visitor which has a user ID 3 and again like access level 2 uh, which is a visitor and uh, nickname and username and password then I have uh, entered uh, some data for them uh, first of all for me again if you see the first three as the user ID 111 okay this is a phone book data if you go over here if you see this uh, phone book ID which is an order number and a user ID which is uh, connected with the table user 
so uh, when they put the data in a uh, phone book or table phone books I want to know like which user put uh, data and the tax name location and number like it's really simple so uh, again like phone ID which is a uh, phone book ID which is auto generated user ID we get from a uh, table user and uh, again like uh, if you see the first three row the user ID 111 which is uh, mine user ID 1 Z the man admin and uh, I have another user which is user ID 2 which is Mr. John or Johnny 5 whatever is from USA and he puts some uh, uh, like a contacts like bill residence bill office bill shop this is a phone number then I have a third vis uh, uh, ID over here which is 3 which is for Mr. David and uh, Mr. David also put some uh, like a name uh, for Jack Residence Canada Jack Office Canada and uh, Jack Shop Canada so now our database is complete like uh, I just put like all information because I just want to make it simple and uh, user friendly so I will close this close this and close this first of all we have to make the relationship so we go to database tools and we go to relationships show tables and we're gonna select all and add alright so we're gonna do uh, make a relation between access level ID to the access level over here so whenever uh, anybody make uh, the new user so they will provide the access level and uh, I'm gonna choose this enforce referential integrity whatever I'm sorry if I uh, pronounce this wrong and join type number one only includes a row where the join fields from both tables are equal okay and I create okay so it will create a relation between them the reason why again we're uh, creating this level so when the user like uh, want to sign up as a new user so it will automatically give him uh, uh, the access level 2 which is uh, visitor okay and when they create the records I wanna know like who create this uh, I mean uh, getting the entry like phone, like name location and number so of course I wanna connect this as a user ID to user ID okay again I'm gonna choose the same option and create and this one also like when you see the join type is also one okay so now we have our relations uh, ready and uh, we're gonna save this and we're gonna close our database now we're gonna open our 